Now, talk about the demise of Disney and Marvel. This encompasses both elements. Oh, Jonathan Majors. We've had uh, a lot of... Uh, so been a winding story on Jonathan Majors. Well, now, according to TMZ, I know, I know. But Jonathan Majors shows... Apparently, the lawyer has revealed texts from the alleged victim saying that the woman admitted fault. Which I'm just going to say this from the off, right? Because I, I, we, we've covered this extensively. Loads of people thought that because she recanted her story, it was done. It's not the case because the DA district attorney was still pressing charges. Uh, they, they, she's been formally charged. That, that is, that's where we are at basically with it all. So, you know, sure, we've heard from the defense lawyer their their literal job defending that she's recanted her story and um, there's video evidence and all this. But the district attorney would have seen that as well and has still opted to press charges. Now that lawyer has then gone to TMZ and shown text messages. Alleged, you can find a lot of this video. stuff anyway. Well, yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't you share the video? I don't know. We'll get to uh, that, sorry. Not... Yeah, no, you're right. Like You're completely right. Why would you not show the video? So basically, here's, here's what it is. And it is, I just, what, it, who knows, right? So Jonathan Major's attorney says she has receipts regarding the assault claimed, I know, claimed against her client. Texts in which the alleged victim admits she's to blame and says she doesn't want the actor prosecuted. Is this the recanting? Because I thought they had signed Yeah, that's she alluded, Yeah, she alluded to two, two, two statements, an actual statement. This isn't a fucking recanting, anyway. Uh, Major's lawyer, Priya Chowdhury, who's a woman, uh, said that the woman in question sent a few texts to the Creed 2 actor hours after his arrest last weekend, admitting that she was the one who used physical force against him. All right, so it's pretty small. Let me just read it for you. So it says, please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. Okay. But that's also admitting they had a fight, and he. Did. I was gonna, yeah, yeah that's where I was gonna say this does not what? help the case at all. If <laughs> anything, this just reiterates exactly <laughs> what <laughs> we've heard from the very start. Oh and my god! I, I know because there's been a few people out there trying to point post this in like a dunk. Gotcha. This is why you wait for no, the group. No, it's not. It's like uh, I don't think this means what they think it means. <laughs> No, that makes it look all this like does is reiterate, like you fight. just said, they know they had a fight, meaning they have proof that there was some kind of altercation between this <laughs> these two. And the fact that she acknowledges oh. that she has injuries from him, obviously. Yeah. From the fight, literally. From the fight. Like... Meaning, and I said this the other <laughs> night on Toxic Femme, it could be a case of where she started it and he fucking finished it. That's what it yeah. sounds like happened. Right. It does, yeah. No, you're, you're and, completely right. And in her right, case, that. and again, in her case, what she's doing now is trying to take the blame so he's not well, no, mad at her. So listen to this, though. Well, anyway, I can continue. Tell, sorry. I, I, yeah, I'll just cut you there because it actually gets a bit worse and it sounds even more like what we've been saying it potentially sounded like. I'm so angry that they did and I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of hospital. Just call me when you're out. So she did go to hospital. Uh, I love you. I don't love you. I love you guys, though. Uh, and, then, and then she says further, they just called again to check on me, and I reiterated how this was not an attack, and they do not have my blessing on any charges being placed. I read the paper they gave me about strangulation, and I said, point blank, this did not occur and should be removed immediately. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She ensured this to me. I know you have the best team, and there's nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm doing all I can my end. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out, and your worry as my partner due to our communication prior, out of care, she promised all will be relayed. What? I what think there fight, was then? a very hey. telling uh, thing in there. Um, I know you have the very best team. In fact, yeah. your team has already been in touch with me. In fact, your team is like dictating what I am to say right now. And I'm trying to type this 
uh, as best as I can recollect what your team is telling me to write because they'll they'll sue yeah. me if I don't. That's but it also it like to me this is way the fuck too specific to be a, it, to be a genuine thing. This looks like something that okay, we're gonna planting the evidence to clear right now. It sounds like it sounds like the first one is real, right? Because she addresses a fight. A fight took place. I've got injuries from the fight, and then the second one does not sound real because, and it's only three hours after, three and a half hours after, because afterwards. The writing's different. There's no spaces. The, the the contextually it reads different. Literally, and 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 they're talking about where well, you called the you called the police because I collapsed and you and I passed out. What's that got to do with the fight that you just mentioned? What you choked her out? Do you see? But you, yeah, if well, anything, that true. makes his story look worse on the other. Because see, we were all giving the the point that you know he called the cops the night before. And Andre saying, well, yeah. that kind of helps his side of the situation. Well, this is just throws that out the fucking window. Mm. <laughs> because he wasn't calling because he was worried about anything else other than she passed out. Okay, well, that has nothing to do with the fight, like you just said. Well, yeah, like, but that's what I mean. Where's the relation? She mentions a fight, and now she he called because of... It is, it's a complete mess. This is all over the place. An absolute shit show. Culture, you, you sound like you want to chime in there, buddy. This is terrible. And everywhere the headlines reading like it's an exonerating piece of information. And I'm like, holy crap, this is terrible. This is bad. I don't care how good you say the team is or what the lawyer is saying or claiming the woman had an emotional issue or whatnot. Now I can mm. see the strategy they're trying to build in order to beat this. This is a woman desperate to stay on the good side of this man because it's her payday. Mm. I gosh, I hate that sounds terribly cynical, but I can't see beyond it. I can't see beyond that take. Well, that's what I was saying the other night. Both of them are just as guilty as the other, but <laughs> but who ha who sustained physical injury and to what extent? And again, I the, the, this sounds like you choked me out. Yeah, well, it gets even more confusing because. TMZ is like, as we reported, Majors was arrested for misdemeanor assault, aggravated harassment, attempted assault and harassment after the woman allegedly saw another woman texting him and tried to sneak a peek at his phone. What's that got to do with her collapsing on the floor then? Unless it's from an altercation that just doesn't... Again, it always... this. Whenever we learn more about this, because there's so many different weird reports, but even this is still apparently from the the attorney that said this as well, it just leaves more questions than answers. And then furthermore, Chowdhury told us Sunday she was alleged she was already working hard to gather evidence. No, Sunday she stated she had evidence. She literally stated, I've got two statements from the victim recanting her story, and I've got video evidence. Not not I'm trying hard. And she believes there is also video footage. She believes. Oh, ladies and gents, what happened to the actual video footage? She believes there's video footage from inside the vehicle. But I thought, but I thought she said confirmation she absolutely did. That's the statement she said. She released it to Deadline, Variety, Hollywood Reporter. I have video footage. Well, well you don't. She had. She I know had why she would say it though. Because she needs to kill this story dead right away. Because what we're dealing with right here is this guy's entire future <sighs> career. So this is like the first level of narrative. So they need to cr crush this story dead as soon as possible. They need to get it out there. There is video completely and utterly exonerating this. This is completely bullshit. Think nothing more of it. This is going to be gone in days. That is what they want everyone to keep saying. They only they may not have such a video, and or as we said like last time, yeah, it's going to take them. They don't have it yet because they haven't made it yet. But <laughs> anyway, the point yeah. is, they're they're going to to say that there's such a video because they're desperate for the narrative to be this is formality. There's bullshit, but there ain't nothing to see here. Move along. We even have video to prove there's nothing to see here. That's what they're going with. On the fact that the video isn't there and the evidence isn't so strong. They'll deal with that later. They just need to get the narrative out there. This dude's innocent. Uh, well, plenty of people out. believed it. 
Plenty of people believed it. We, we got lambasted when we made a stream about this. People were like, that's misinformation. What are you talking about? She, 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 they've got evidence. He's got off scot-free. And I, and I had to address people from the off. I was like, guys, the only thing we do know is he's formally been charged. So whatever evidence they said that they had, it wasn't good enough. And now it turns out they don't even have it. So they were right. They were smart because they made people believe it. Holy shit. Uh, sorry, culture. No, I was just going to say, this originally was presented, right, as two separate sa statements recanting, right? Okay. <laughs> then, as, as Andre pointed out, when this initially broke and the attorney, like, revealed everything else, it it made it sound like there is incontrovertible, well, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, support here in favor of what narrative we want everybody to portray, it's a it, this is brilliant PR scheme, but it ain't gonna work when you, you keep mm. working forward through this whole process. Mm. It doesn't sound good, and you were hundred percent right about tone because I I blew this up by the way, um, yeah. so that I could read it, you know, so it was up there in, in big in big print. Um, that the tone in the way this is being written and in the particular parlance, whatever you want to call it, um, is entirely different than the first message entirely different yeah it, it's it, it's honest it's honestly it's honestly just like it, andre suggested or maybe it was tom that this was this is a hostage video we just don't know it right Ma yeah financial hostage well, yeah, i think it's yeah. more or less one of one of one and one of the other like i said she's trying not to make him mad now right because yeah, like yeah. you said culture chances are they live together it's probably her only means of income. Yeah. And again, yeah. and I'm not trying to say that this means he's guilty, but yeah. how often, and we said this the day that this stuff all went down, and I think on our last show here, where we said a lot of these laws are in place because of women who are in fear of being yeah. abused again if they don't recant. So these laws are in place not to just protect them, but also to protect the cops and the state to make sure that they do their job so nobody shows up dead and they get sued. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, 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 and again, and, and again, Bob Sav, I'm not saying hostage outright. What I'm saying is, um, it, 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 financial coercion, uh, you know, in this relationship is quite possible. Incentivized. Yeah, yeah. Incentivized. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I used, I used hyperbole, and I apologize. I often, I often do that to prove a point. But it is, um, it, 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 I'm sorry. This this is mm -hmm. this looks worse. And every headline you read about it, whether it be in any entertainment source right now, including TMZ, it's being characterized in the headline as this is this this is this is solid information that you know blah blah blah. And I'm like going, really? I... It says exactly the opposite, you know. And and the fact that the DA is continuing to move forward on this, maybe that has something to do with what's going on in that particular DA office right now in relation to another case that they're quite embarrassed about so much so that they've had to delay a grand jury for a period of a month, but that will set that to the side and just say that, uh, you know, maybe they need something to distract. This is a hell of a distraction. And I don't think, and I think Tom, you and I talked about this the other day. I don't think this is going to hit the, uh, I don't think this is going to hit trial in time. Or maybe it was you and I, Nate. I don't think this is going to go to trial in, in a timely manner. I just don't. I think this isn't going to well, hit. It's scheduled like May 8th, I think. Yeah. If I, remember I don't right. think it's going to hit that May 8th date. I think it's going to, going to extend longer. And that that gets worse for for, for Marvel. Consider this. Yeah. You, you, you may have to pull the plug on a guy that you've artificially created as a star. Mm. Yeah, think yeah. About, think about all of the millions of dollars in money that Disney has spent on this guy and pushing him to the forefront and trying to make him a star. Think of all the pushy puffy things that go into the, you know, supposed magazines like vanity fair and all of that entire spreads of this man, you know, yeah. all, 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 all buffed out and everything. Else. Anyway, sorry, I can go well, on. Forever. Well, to be fair, the audience already pulled the plug in all of that by rejecting quantum mania. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, this this is someone that Hollywood is desperately trying to make a star, especially Marvel. I don't know that the audience is buying it. All the hype that I see is of the bot kind. I don't see like mm -hmm. any actual interest uh, from from the movie going audience. Everyone I see is like just shrugging their shoulders, and uh, I 
I don't know anyone that was that impressed with what he did in either Loki or in Quantumania. No, I agree. I would agree. So there's there's our latest with Jonathan Majors, I guess. Absolute shit show. Absolute shit show. <laughs> <laughs>